In this video I want to show you how to use Fire FTP to publish to your web server. Uh, Fire FTP is uh, one of the great add-ons for the Firefox browser and it gives you an FTP client right inside of your browser so you don't have to have a separate program like FileZilla. Now I'm going to launch FTP, or Fire FTP from Firefox simply by going to my tools menu and Fire FTP. And starting from scratch I'm going to do create an account. Now by creating an account you can store your login, host, and uh, username, password information so that way you don't have to keep re-entering it over and over again. For my account name I'll go ahead and call this webdev79 my host my login and my password. Now the host address, the login name, and the password is something you'll have when you have hosting space. Now I'll provide you some hosting space for any web, web design related classes. So I will be giving you a host address, a login name, and a password. Once that's all taken care of I can click OK. And you'll see in my drop down of accounts that new one, WebDev79, is now available in the list. So when I start up my Fire FTP add-on, I can simply go to WebDev79, click Connect, and it'll log me in. On the left side, this is my local computer. On the right side, this is my remote computer or my web server. Now I want to display the contents of my desktop because I've got a web page that I just created and saved in my desktop. So I'll go to my desktop folder using this folder drop down or I could use the folder menu over here on the left. And I'm also going to sort, click on date and then date again so I have my most recent files. So here we go. So there's a web page that I just created. Now an important step is when you publish, and this could be different for different servers, but on ours you need to make sure that you publish into your web dev folder, your your main host folder here. So I'm going to double click on this. You want to be able to see that you're publishing into that folder. And you can see I've got a bunch of files in there already. I've got web page files, image files, and so forth. So here's my web page HTML on the left. A couple things you can do. You can simply double click it and that'll send it over to the right. Or you can click and drag it and send it over to the right. You can also select multiple files using either your control or shift keys and select them all over. Or you can click on an entire folder and upload that. Well, my web page is now published, so all I have to do is test it out. I'll go to a new tab and type in my address. And there we go. This is the web page that I created locally and is now available on the web.